I'm Rich Miller, the editor of Data Center Knowledge. We're here at the Open Compute Summit today in Santa Clara talking with Fusion I.O. Uh, with Gary Ornstein. And, uh, I was hoping that you could tell us a little bit about what you've uh, announced today uh, called I.O. Scale. Yeah, well, thanks for coming to visit, uh, Rich, and thanks for having us do this quick video. Today at the Open Compute Summit, we announced an entirely new product line for Fusion I.O. called I.O. Scale. I.O. Scale is a PCIe-based flash product line that is intended to help hyperscale companies accelerate their applications and help reduce their infrastructure. Similar to other I.O. memory products from Fusion I.O., we have a range of capacities for I.O. Scale, going all the way to 3.2 terabytes on a single device. And again, we've taken the knowledge that we've had as a company working with some of the largest hyperscale companies in the world and infuse that into a product line, I.O. Scale, that we're now making available to the world with very advantageous pricing, as low as $3.89 a gigabyte in quantities of 100 or more. So we think the impact of this is significant. What we've seen at uh, OCP today is the relentless pursuit of more efficient infrastructure, more transactions per dollar spent, more transactions per rack unit, more transactions per watt, and we're really happy to uh, match up the IO scale product launch with the activities around OCP. So the kind of hyperscale uh, companies we see here at Open Compute have always loved Flash. Uh, one of the, the limitations has always been price and how widely you can deploy it for the things that you want to do. It sounds like uh, IO scale is, is, is addressing that and uh, creating new opportunities to, uh, to deploy Flash more widely. Absolutely. We do see a very um, elastic uh, demand that, you know, as we provide uh, different opportunities for people to use Flash in different areas of their infrastructure, you're correct. Some folks have been able to use it effectively, but maybe only in a portion of their infrastructure. Right. And we see IO scale opening up opportunities with both a wider set of customers, uh, as well as in the depth uh, in terms of the number of application tiers that they're able to make Flash enabled. So we're happy about that on both fronts. And you've been working with members of the community to kind of test drive this. Correct, work correct. Work on, on refining some of the, the, the hardware settings to, yep. uh, to make our... Yeah, for example, one of the areas where you need to do a little bit of refining is on the boot. So uh, IOScale supports a feature called UEFI, which is the ability to boot from the device. Again, giving uh, hyperscale companies uh, even further uh, tool set to remove disk drives from their infrastructure. And, uh, you know, we've also done uh, work with some of the uh, the large hyperscale comp cu customers and with OCP to make sure that we fit physically well into the form factors that are being designed. For example, in the demo today, uh, we're showing two I.O. scale devices in one half of a rack-mounted server. And so this is a one and a half U server, which supports dual uh, motherboards. And so with two of these, you can actually have four I.O. scale devices in one and a half U. That's 12.8 or almost 13 terabytes in one and a half U. So the density is really just jaw-dropping and you know the number of transactions that you can support on such a minimal amount of infrastructure is, is, is equally compelling. So you've got a couple of different designs here uh, for your OCP, the I.O. scale uh, products. Maybe for our readers who love hardware, uh, maybe you could uh, uh, show us a little bit about uh, uh, what the components are, how, and, uh, and what's Sure. New. So this is an example of the IOScale 3.2 terabyte product. Uh, we also have this product in a range of capacity sizes. This would be the flagship in terms of capacity sizes. Uh, we also have smaller sizes available in 400, 800, and 1600 gigabyte ranges. The exact numbers are uh, a little bit higher than that. And what we've done with the IO scale product is we've said from the get-go, we're going to design this for hyperscale. And so what's important to hyperscale? Certainly they want a very efficient uh, infrastructure. They tend to focus on server refreshes that tend to be a little bit more fast than the, uh, the traditional enterprise. So we've been able to do things to optimize the, uh, the product in such a way to suit this market and again offer it at a very attractive price point at $3.89 a gigabyte uh, at quantities of 100 or more. Uh, so a number of things that have gone into making IO scale specific to that hyperscale market, clean, efficient design, 
uh, and the simplicity of the architecture is one of the most important things in helping us reach those objectives. So what kind of response are you getting today? It's obviously it's an audience of folks who are yeah. very interested. It's in this been kind great. Of it's been great. Obviously, there's a lot of talk about flash memory across the board. Uh, we're really happy to be sharing this level of detail, uh, both with the product line. We've also uh, talked about contributions to OCP, the design of the a 3.2 terabyte product. We've contributed that to OCP, so it's very representative of our commitment to an open architecture. You know, this morning uh, in his opening, uh, Frank Frankowski introduced this concept of disaggregation and moving away from complex proprietary systems. I can think of no better rallying cry and message uh, for us as well. You know, our objective is to take the the industry standard servers and the OCP servers that customers know and love, pick the server that you know and love and that you enjoy, and we want to help you turn that server into a super server by infusing it with IO memory in the form of IO scale. And IO scale is available when? IO scale is available now. Yes, yes. So we've actually been working behind the scenes with some of our larger customers, shipping IO scale in very large volumes. It's battle tested. It's ready to go, and uh, you know, for those folks who are interested in the product, just contact uh, FusionIO.com, and uh, it's ready to go.